The biggest Halloween party in the Miami Valley is going on right now. Thousands are expected to haunt the Oregon district tonight. To news reporter Allison again shares the frightful sights happening on 5th Street. People from all over the Miami Valley put on their best costumes to come out to haunt fest to see what's lurking on 5th Street. I see a lot of interesting characters around here in Dayton and yeah, <laughs> you never know what you will find out here. From clowns to cartoons, characters of all kinds flocked to the Oregon District Saturday night. She inspired the look because well, I, I, was going I with have the a beard. beard. He has a beard, so I thought let's be gnomes. For many there, Haunt Fest is a celebration of the spookiest night of the year and a night out with friends. I mean, after the last couple of years, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's fantastic, you know, get out and not wear a mask and socialize with people and have a good time. This year, the Oregon District was transformed into a circus, complete with street performers and shops that showcase the strange. So I brought in some of my oddities and my weirdness. So I got a two-faced cyclops, a baby duck, mummy cats and skeletons and skulls and all those things that you just don't really see down here. So I'm very excited to get a different element. Uh, I think people people are really responding to it. They have no idea what they're expecting, but they're coming out very, uh, very creeped out, and that's what I love. While full of food and fun, Hot Fest is actually the biggest fundraiser for the Oregon District Business Association, and that's another reason why people came out to show support. And I love going to most of the festivals that there are in like the Dayton area, and trying to get out when I can gives me something to do. <laughs> Just like supporting the local community around here. It's. It's pretty fun. The money raised from this event helps the Oregon District Business Association with beautification, snow removal, and promoting the small businesses here. In Dayton, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.